Tesla Powerwall just got a massive upgrade. If you're interested in solar power with battery backup, then you're not going to want to miss this video because I'm going to be explaining to you the specifications and the new architecture for Tesla's Powerwall Plus. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And so at Solar Surge, we use renewable energy, solar power with battery backup to help people achieve energy independence. Now, the renewable energy world was stirred up last week when Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced a major upgrade to the Tesla Powerwall battery pack. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining in detail what the new architecture and specifications look like. Because this new Powerwall Plus, although it may look very similar to its predecessor on the outside, the architecture and the installation configuration has been completely switched around. The first thing that you're going to notice about the installation is that the Tesla Powerwall battery is paired with Tesla's new Tesla branded inverter. As part of the announcement last week, Tesla's new policy is that Powerwall is now going to only be available with Tesla Solar as one bundled integrated solution. So you will no longer be able to get Tesla Solar without also having at least some Powerwall and storage capability. Now, if you recall my previous video on the Tesla inverter review, you'll recall that Tesla's new inverter is actually a high voltage DC string inverter meaning that unlike micro inverter or optimizer systems where you can track each individual solar panel, Tesla's inverter takes series strings of solar panels, typically between eight and 15 panels strung together as one series, and then power being delivered down to the inverter device. So the inverter takes high voltage DC up to 600 volts DC input from the solar array. Now one of the advantages of the, the DC coupled architecture is that that high voltage DC coming off the solar can be used directly to charge the battery first without have to go through any conversion process where you could lose some energy uh, in the conversion. So it is a more efficient for an off-grid operation. You can take high voltage DC direct from the roof, charge the battery first, and then if utility power is available, you can then export any excess solar uh, back to the power company uh, for net metering and credit. So there's some uh, you know, change in the architecture here. The previous Powerwall 2 was an AC coupled battery, meaning that there, there was no direct interface between the solar panels and the inverter, uh, either micro inverters on the roof or a central inverter at ground level. There was no direct connection between the solar panels and the battery. Everything had to go through the inverter first, delivered to the AC circuit breaker panel, and then the power wall two, the old power wall two would tap into the same AC circuit breaker panel. So a lot of those intermediary steps have been eliminated with allowing the power wall plus to charge directly from solar. Now, this also goes into Tesla's strategy of, you know, complete vertical control uh, of, its, of its industry silo. Uh, as well as lowering the cost of the overall solar installation. So by moving to a traditional string inverter based architecture, it lowers the cost of manufacturing the equipment and also it's a faster installation. Now there are no micro inverters, no optimizers that have to be wired and tracked on the roof. Everything just gets strung together quickly, power delivered to the Tesla inverter at ground level. Another major development is the power rating of the unit. Tesla, via a software update, is going to be unlocking this capability on some of the existing power walls, but also for the new Powerwall Plus, you're now going to be able to get up to 9.6 kilowatts of continuous power output from a single battery when you're running in a grid down mode. Now that's very important. For those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, if you're looking at solar with battery backup and you live in a rural area where you have to worry about not just refrigerator, freezer, lights in your home office, but you also need to run heavy loads like water pump motors, sewer pump motors, uh, or perhaps machine or shop equipment, then having that extra load handling capacity is really going to help. On top of that, Tesla has also increased its surge handling capacity. Uh, they call it a built-in soft start, and basically what that means is that the new uh, Powerwall Plus with inverter 
has internal surge capacitors that will help you for those heavy um, inductive loads that require a huge inrush of current where the previous generation of battery may have been overloaded. So when we're talking about large inductive loads, we're talking about things like um, air conditioning compressors is probably the most common one, uh, pool pumps, uh, in some case workshop equipment like uh, table saws, circular saws. When those motors first crank on, it requires a huge inrush of current to get that motor up to speed. So by having the internal capacitor bank and be able to absorb some of that startup surge, it'll help you run more loads in a grid down environment. Now, the million dollar question with all this is, you know, are they going to be available? You know, as of right now, today's recording, Tesla power walls are in very, very scarce supply. Uh, you may have seen my previous video on how Tesla stabbed its customers and partners in the back by essentially accepting new orders for the new power wall while still not being able to fulfill our existing orders for the power wall too. Many of those orders are eight or nine months old. Now I'm receiving some conflicting reports on this. Some partners, uh, some of my installation partners who are Tesla licensed installers have just completely cut power wall off completely. We just have no confidence offering it anymore because we just don't know when we're going to get supply to be able to deliver. Uh, other partners, and this is mostly in the southern states, are confident that we will have new supply coming in beginning in the end of May. So hopefully this whole situation will be sorted out soon. But in the meantime, if you're looking at solar with battery backup, you can always place your order directly with Tesla and, and you know, kind of hope for the best. Some people have been waiting over a year. Uh, or you can look at an alternate comparable battery backup, whether it's the Generac power cell, which we really like in southern states where you need to have whole house backup, including air conditioning. Uh, the Generac power cell will give you that whole house backup capability, um, as well as the Enphase battery, which is uh, more similar to the previous generation Tesla Powerwall. But in most cases, if you live in, in an urban or a suburban environment where you're, you're hooked up to public utilities for your water and sewer, then a single Enphase battery is usually more than enough to cover backup for all your critical systems. And then of course, you know, Tesla right now, if you're looking at getting this directly from Tesla, uh, Tesla is geographically limited to uh, a few dozen major metropolitan areas. So if you know, if you're close into the city, you know, uh, chances are you can get your system directly from Tesla and hopefully in a, in a reasonable enough time frame. However, if you live in a more remote or a rural area where Tesla is not servicing that right now, we would be happy to get you connected with a locally licensed and certified uh, installer in your area uh, to get you set up with solar and battery backup. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good information from the channel here, please take time to just click on that like button for me. That way it tells YouTube that it can show the video to more people. You know, if that doesn't happen, YouTube will just show it to a few people and then shut it and bury it and nobody sees it again. So I do appreciate it when you take the time to click. And then also hit the subscribe button as well if, if you haven't done that already. That way, whenever we put out a new video, uh, chances are good that you're going to see that. Right now, we're putting about three to four new videos per week. Well, thanks again for tuning into the channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.